Hey guys, it's Yvette. Welcome back. Um, so now I'm going to make my video about my trip up to New York. And um, I, it, it, I've just had so many boxes to open that it's, you know, I've just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Um, but I'm finally going to make this video. It is Friday. I'm very excited that it's Friday. Um, always makes me that much happier to have a very good video going out. <laughs> um, so anyway, what happened was um, my husband was going to have a business trip in Rochester on Monday, just this past Monday, and since we had been dying to go to Niagara Falls, or maybe dying is the wrong word, we just have been wanting to go, and lots of people are always asking, you know, like, have you been to Niagara Falls, and we're like, you know, we're so close, I have no idea why we haven't been, but, you know, um, we wanted to go. So anyway, I decided to take Monday off, and um, we drove up on Saturday, and um, so we got up, and it was so expensive to stay near Niagara Falls, so we stayed in, um, or pretty close to, it might have even been, but like in Buffalo, okay? And we got there, it was dinner time when we arrived, so we decided we were going to have dinner at the Cracker Barrel. And um, we went over to Cracker Barrel, and we had dinner, um, and we're going out, and I said to him, I'm like, um... I'm like, you want to just go back to the hotel or do you want to like walk around and shop a little bit? Because you know they have a, that little country store um, that's attached to the Cracker Barrel, which is basically what Cracker Barrel started as, I think. Um, I could be wrong about that. Maybe the restaurant came first. I don't know, but I love the little country store. I love it. Um, so he's like, no, let's shop. Okay, so we're walking around and we're checking everything out. Um, and then we get to the front where they have um, this sale table and it's everything's 40% off. And I was like, oh my goodness, everything is 40% off right here. I said, um, what was it that I really wanted? What did I pick up first? I don't even, oh, I know what I picked up first. Okay, so there was, um, we, we collect all sorts of weird things. It's not weird, it's just us, it's us us kind of thing. So actually before I even saw 40% off, I saw this little birdhouse, um, which we have like three or four like little painted birdhouses that we have down in our dining room. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, look. And it had like, um, the lifesaver, you know, it's all white with the red and um, just, and it was all decorated, really cute. It was really cute. It was so, it was like totally beachy. And I said, um, oh, how much is this? And he goes to look at it and then I was, and I said, oh, look, it's 40% off. I was like, I said, everything on this table? Oh my gosh. So <laughs> we started walking around. We ended up, this is hilarious. We bought the birdhouse. We bought um, these two pelicans. It was like a male and a female pelican, and they were all dressed up like sailors. Um, and they had it as part of their decor in this tin boat. Um, it, it was about, I mean, it was pretty big. It was probably at least like a foot and a half across. Um, bow to stern, I think I'm using the right terms. Not really sure. Um, and we were like, well, we kind of like it in there, so let's buy the little boat. So we got the boat, <laughs> and then there was like this big, tall um, sign. I don't remember the whole wording because it's it's long, but it was like really cool. And we were like, oh my gosh, let's get that. So we got the sign. Um, we got uh, an anchor that you can hang on the wall. We got, um, is that everything we got? All I know is he had to, Jim had to carry the, the big tall sign, right? And everything else we had to like shove in, they had their, their giant shopping bags and they had to like put one in the other to make it like really strong because you know, we had the tin boat and the, just everybody, the, the, uh, oh, and we ended up getting two sailboats. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's everything we got, right? Okay, so these people are like cracking up laughing. We're like buying up their whole sale table and everything. And we left and we went back to the hotel room and my husband is like, um, he goes, I saw you looking at that seal. And there was, cause it was like this huge stuffed seal. 
and um, he was like, how big, he was big too. Uh, I should probably go get him so you could see him. But anyway, um, so he goes, we got to go back in the morning and get more stuff. He says, because I want that clock. I'm like, what clock? Because I didn't even notice it. He goes, there's a clock. And I said, uh, okay. And he goes, um, and you want the seal. And was there something? I don't know. He goes, there might be something else we want. All righty. So <laughs> the next morning, we loaded up the car. And we drove back over to the Cracker Barrel. It's across the street. But I told him, I was like, I'm not carrying all that stuff across the street again. So we're going to go drive over. So we drove over and we went inside and we bought the clock. It was the only one left. So we bought the clock. We bought the seal. We bought... Maybe that's when we bought the two boats. I think that's when we got the two sailboats. Because I don't think we had them the night before. There was some other stuff, you guys, I'm not kidding. It was hilarious. We, the whole car was like full of boat stuff, boats and beach and it, <laughs> nautical. <laughs> um, so that was, that was really cool. We had a great time. Um, and then we did Niagara Falls and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So fast forward to, um, went to Rochester the next day. Well, that night we drove to Rochester. Um, and then my husband was going to have meetings, uh, a meeting like all day long. So I'm by myself on my own. And I had planned these two, um, quilt shops to go to. I had actually looked around online to see where people were suggesting that you go. Um, but the, the pickings were slim guys. I couldn't believe it. So then I had posted on Instagram and said, Hey, does anybody know some place I should go in Rochester? And so, um, somebody, and I, I should have like written all this down. Somebody had suggested to go, um, to, oh gosh, what was the name of that place? Oh, that one doesn't say anything. This one just has quilt stuff on it. Hold on. Oh, this was the place, though. There's like a receipt in here. I want to say it was called Ivy Thimble, um, but I can't remember where it was. Um, gosh. I will put it down below. Um, so the first place I went, well, the first place I went was Starbucks. <laughs> and I was catching up on a lot of my emails. Um, I don't know if you guys realize, but I, as long as I get notifications, I definitely read all the messages, the comments that you guys make. So I was reading all my comments um, and, you know, just catching up on stuff. And I had made some videos ahead of time so that then I could have something to post every day. So I posted a video. Um, and then after Starbucks, I drove up to uh, Ivy Thimble. And I go in. My intention was I was going to film myself shopping. <laughs> but it's like I walked in there and there was like maybe one other lady in there. And um, it was like deathly quiet in there. And I thought... There is no way <laughs> I am going to start making a video because you guys know how loud I am. Uh, and apparently some people think obnoxious. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way I'm going to do this. I, I, I'm just going to shop and then I'll, I'll post a video of my booty. So here's the stuff that I bought at Ivy Thimble. I thought I would share all this with you. Um, now, these things on top um, I got for... 25% off because I finished the bolt. Um, I got this lovely pink gingham. And I got a green gingham. It was mostly blenders that they had. Um, I got this low volume um, with like music notes on it. I thought that would be really cool. Like if I ever needed something for a background. And it doesn't even have to be music related. It's still going to be cool. Um, and then I had to have this. Um, with the little hedgehogs and the owls and the squirrels. Um, it's sort of like a, a, a taupe color, I guess I would say. Um, absolutely adorable. I had to have that. Okay. And this is all just stuff that I actually bought at full price. <laughs> um, Ivy Thimble in Victor, New York. That's where it is. I just found the receipt. Okay. Um... So then I found, okay, let me see. I had like an idea, sort of, of things I wanted to do. Now this, I thought I could make 
one hour baskets with. And I thought that this, um, get it the right way. Do, 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 do. This would be the outside. And um, can you guys see that? It has like all the girls um, with the spools of thread and a needle and then there's buttons and there's tulips. <laughs> I just thought that was so adorable. Had to get that. But I thought if I put that on the outside of um, one hour basket, I figured these would be things that quilty people or sewing people would want to buy. Um, and I would put this on the inside. It's just white with a little black squiggly. I thought it was very cute. Uh, it's low volume, so it's easy to find things in the bottom. You don't have to worry about that. I could probably even make um, drawstring bags with this as well. And then I would use this for the handles. It's just a turquoise with a lighter turquoise dot. And if I were making um, a drawstring, then this would be like the top where the drawstring goes through. Um, this would be the inside, and then the other one would be the outside. Um, so that's what I got um, for that. That was the little collection I put together. And then I just decided to get um, these Halloween fabrics because I have um, a friend who wants to order like three um, basically drawstring bags, but they're going to be like Halloween trick-or-treat bags. And two of the children are like one year old. <laughs> so I thought it would be really cute. And I wasn't sure how much I had of like um, really young, cute. And so I saw this and I thought that was adorable and would be perfect. So I got that. Um, and then... to go with that in some way I have no idea I've got so much Halloween fabric I mean why do I keep buying this I don't know I just love it so much I loved this it's just white with orange dots and the dots are like lighter in the middle and darker on the outside it's just so cute I loved it okay so I had to get that had to had to um, and then I got some great orange with black dots thought that would be nice and blindy or something and then I got like a whole yard of this because um, I love it's from Broomhilder's bakery and I know that I'm ordering some um, from you Gwen and I still will um, but I thought this would actually be really great if I could get started on sewing with this as using it as a background or um, anywhere that I need to just fill in because this would be perfect and then I saw this and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Maybe one hour baskets, maybe uh, drawstring bags. I have no idea. Uh, maybe just zipper pouches, you know, but I loved this fabric. Um, this is the main one that I got. And what is this? Um, this is Dear Mum, M-U-M, by Robin Pickens from Moda. And I hadn't seen it for some reason. I, I don't remember seeing this anywhere. Um, but I love the pink and the green together. And the pink is actually more like a coral. And I love that. So um, I got that with the paisley, which I just fell in love with. I love this coral color. It's just beautiful. And then, um, then this, uh, like, coral color to go with it like a solid or a solid it reads as a solid basically um so that so listen I mean I know it's it seems like a lot but I got all of this for $130 I mean I don't think that's bad price at all this is a lot of fabric um so I think I did really well there and um so then after that I went to um what is the name of this place? I hope I have a receipt in here. Oh, this is, um, it's called Discount Sewing Center, but it also has a Jackie Lynn's, um, like, fabric inside. And sh Jackie Lynn's is, like, 
um, she has like some sort of like um, more like clothing type fabric in the back of the store sort of to the side um, and I thought this place was great and this is the place that Sabrina suggested that I go and Sabrina is the girl that I met at Starbucks after all of this um, and I have already posted on that so that you guys could uh, see I mean the stuff she gave me and all of that was great so um, this is what I got at Discount Sewing Center. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I'm like, what is this thing down here? <laughs> I'm like forgetting already what I got. Okay, so this little bag contains um, these cute little snips that have bunnies on them. And I love handing, giving things like this out in swaps. Um, so you never know. <laughs> um, so I got those. Anytime I see them, I always get some, you know, just so I can just have a couple here and there. Um, and then I bought this for uh, my good friend Yvonne because she's been looking for this pattern from By Annie. And you can't, like, By Annie doesn't do PDFs. So, and she lives in Canada. So she's like, you know, it costs her a fortune to get this. So when I saw it, I thought, I'll get it and I'll send it to her. <laughs> Um, that way there's none of this. It's just crazy to me. I don't understand why they don't just make everything PDF. It makes it so much easier um, for people who live out of the country because you don't have to worry about all that shipping and all that stuff. Anyway, um, I also bought this um, stash and store and I got a pink one. I think we got this in a uh, sew sampler box last year sometime. I want to say it was last year. Um, but the one we got, or at least the one I had gotten, was blue and or turquoise, and I gave it away. Um, now, this one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to give away as well. I actually think it's nice. It's just I don't really have room for keeping something like this, but I do think it's really cool. So um, this is probably going to be part of a giveaway as well. And here's the fabric I got. Okay, they had this one okay wait hold on what's this okay so I got this I couldn't really find anything to go with it but have you seen behind me I'm sure I'm gonna find something to go with it um, I just thought it was adorable and I'm gonna try to open it pretty big so you can see all of it it's got those cute little birds and it has faith joy hope uh, dream love it's just I just thought it was adorable <laughs> um, so I got a yard of that and I found um, more Halloween <laughs> fabric that I thought was really cute so I had to have it um, this first one this is chills and thrills by Shelly Comiskey uh, for Henry Glass and make sure I got it the right way yeah so here it is and once she started she asked me how much I wanted and I said a yard and um, the lady who I don't know if she owns the place or what she was really really sweet funny too um, she says you know it glows in the dark and I'm like what is <laughs> I didn't see that on the like usually like on the top you know it'll say all of that I didn't see it anywhere she goes yeah come with me to the bathroom so she took me to the bathroom with a bolt of fabric and we went inside with the lights off and um, we're looking at the fabric. I was like oh my gosh I couldn't believe it so we went out and I told her I was like I want two yards of everything <laughs> I love the glow in the dark stuff. You guys, Halloween Halloween is so much fun. And why not take advantage? It's so much fun. So anyway, uh, I got two yards of this. It glows in the dark. <laughs> and then um, I got this one. Also glows in the dark. It's just uh, gray with little spider webs and little spider guys and they're cute they're not scary and then the last one I got were the eyeballs looking at you <laughs> and um, also glow in the dark so um, I think I made out pretty good with all of this that was um, 110 so 
200 less than 250 dollars for the trip i think for me that's pretty good because I, you know if i get in a quilt shop and i start finding stuff i like I, i'm in trouble because if i'm touching it and seeing it i have i have to have it i'm just i'm i'm terrible i'm terrible um don't ever come shopping with me and tell me that you have a budget and you need me to help keep you in line ain't gonna happen because i can't even keep myself in line um Okay, so this was everything that I got on my trip. Put everything back in here so I don't lose it. And I got more to show you, though. Uh, recently, uh, Gwen got in some of our pre-order stuff. And I got this from her. I want to show it to you guys. It is um, Summer Blush. And I have posted that on my Facebook uh, Yvette Renee Creations page to show you guys all of this. Um, and it's a fat quarter bundle. I really don't want to take this one out because I have no idea when I'm going to use it. But look, if you haven't seen it, um, <laughs> hello, um, you can go to my link and I always try to post a link that will have pictures of every single print that's in the collection. Um, and these colors are gorgeous. Um, so it is Summer Blush by Sadell Emer. I, I know I say it wrong. Sadell Eimer. Is it Eimer? Emer? I really don't know. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I love your fabric. Every fabric you come out with, I pretty much adore. Um, and she did that for Riley Blake. There she is. And she has a website that I also, um, or a blog that I follow as well. I get her, um, her blog. So um, that I got. And also, mind blown right now, okay, I was trying so hard not to, to get this because you guys know I've got so much fabric. I mean, look behind me. But then I'm innocently like drinking my coffee one morning and I get this email or uh, message on Facebook from my good friend Liz Davis and she says, have you got the Allison Glass... Um, bundle and I'm like oh I was like I, I threw away the email like on purpose so that I would not get it <laughs> well guess what I got it anyway now here they fold this a little bit funky so I will show you the fabric but you'll see how they fold this they fold it this way just because it's easier to pack um, and mail and to keep it as cheap as possible to ship to you um, but you know, for me, it's like, I love, uh, rainbow and I love Alice in glass period. And, um, yeah. So this was her rainbow pack. So you got like a fat quarter of, I want to say it's a fat quarter, right? I'm pretty sure these are all fat quarters. Yeah. So you got a fat quarter of like everything from her. All right. So here's... <laughs> I don't even know how to start showing this, I'll be honest with you. There's so much of it. There's like, I don't even remember how many cuts there are. A lot. Um, how am I going to do this? All right, let me try to do it like this. There's the first one. And some of them you'll recognize. This is um, in paper. Okay. And then this next one. I don't know what that is. That one I haven't seen before. Let's see if it's on the selvage. It's not. Okay, guys, I'm just going to show it to you because there's so much. It's going to this will be a 900-year-old video if I don't go quick. This is the next one. It's sort of a muted uh like mauve color. And then there's the next one. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Here's the next one. This is so hard to do. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how difficult this is. <laughs> um, and then here's the next one. The background is um, sort of a like a light pink. Very, very light.
the next one. I hope you guys are getting a good view. It's flopping all over the place. <laughs> There's the next one. Okay, seriously, I gotta fix this. It's driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Okay, I can't fix it. It's not letting me fix it. It's just getting worse. <laughs> and this is a solid pink. Is that the last one? All right, it's the last one, so let me fix it. Once I have it like that, then I can fix it again. All right. I hope you guys are not bored. I mean, personally, I could not be bored looking at fabric, but you know, if you are, you could switch off if you want. <laughs> or fast forward if you don't wanna hear me talking. That's okay too. Um, okay, so the next one is gonna be a bundles of like orange. And so here's the first one. Oh my goodness, they're so hard to get apart. Come on, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> There's the next one. And this one. Do, 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 do. feel like I should have background music or something. If I could sing, I would sing to you. But I don't think you want to hear that. This is mostly like a chartreuse and it's got like these little bitty pops of like a yellow color throughout every once in a while. And then there's this one. And there's that one. And this is the last one. It is like a, um, like with the dots. I'm always not sure what I would call that color. It's an interesting color, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. That was that bundle. Now we're at the green bundle. Why should I, let me put this over here. Okay. So this is the first one. The second one. The third one. I probably won't keep counting. <laughs> and the next one. And this one. Oh, so happy they threw these in. This got down maybe upside down actually. Just let me show it to you at least right side up if I can hold it properly. All right. Ugh. I'm totally. Oh, I got it. Okay. And then there's this one. That's me. I'm doing all of that. <laughs> it says there's so much fabric and I'm like um, flying. It's flying all over. 
Okay, that was the last one in this collection. Or in this color group, I should say. You like the fabric, Jelly Bean? <laughs> you like, yeah. And a blue set. <laughs> this is the first one. Ooh, this is interesting. I've never seen this one. Here's that one. What you doing, JB? What's going on, baby? You okay? Here's this one. Jelly bean, come on, babe. Hold on, all right? You could be good for like just a little bit longer. That would be really nice. You're so good right now. Here's that one. Jelly bean, that's a pair of scissors, baby. Do you want this? You want that? Here, go play. Hey, good baby. Watch out. Oh, I'm so afraid he's gonna fall. <laughs> um, okay, the next one. Um, is this blue? And you can see there's like a little bird on there every once in a while. Very subtle. Um, and there's this one. This one. Oh, love these colors. That one. He's playing with my scissors on the floor now since I knocked them to the ground. Here's this one. Okay, that's the last one in that group. And then we've got um, the pinks. So that's the first one. Mm, look this way. And we've got that one. You guys wouldn't believe it. Yeah, if you have cats, you'd believe it. But I, I don't know what he's doing down there. He's like a little coop pot. There's that one. Just like the longest video in history. There's that one. Hopefully you guys don't mind since it's all fabric. <laughs> and there's that one with some birds. This one. And that's the, I think that's the last one. Oh no. This is the last one. All right, pretty sure, let me double check. Yep, that's the last one, okay. You'd think it'd be easy. <laughs> uh, okay, and now we've got um, the grays and blacks. That's the first one. And there's the next one. This one, this is sort of like a, like a dark teal. It's, it's a gorgeous color. And 
And this one is like um, going more toward a green. This one. Yay. This beautiful baby. <laughs> and then we've got this one. I don't think I've seen a variation of this one yet. All right. And that was the last one in that group. And the last group is a white group. Um, so the first one... Looks like that. And the next one. Hopefully the white's not blowing it out. The camera, oh, that one is. Let's kind of try to turn it a little bit. White doesn't do very good on cameras. Honestly, that's driving me nuts. <laughs> There's this one. There's that one. That's a very light gray. I love that one. I think I've had a, a, quite a bit of that one before. There's this one. And this beauty. And this one. You can't even really see the, it's so low volume. You can sort of see it there. And here's another one that I'll have to kind of turn a bit for you to see. Okay. And that was the last one. And that was the very last one in the whole collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. And um, now that... Wow, it got all bent some where is that i can't even oh there it is um so now that this video is like 40 minutes long practically <laughs> um i apologize for how long it was but i had so much to show you and i just i didn't want to skip anything so that's everything i got in the past like week these are the things that came in the mail i need to really slow down you know what i'm saying um <laughs> So, you know, let me know what you thought about everything and I will talk to you guys later. Love ya.